What is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit that like button. But today we're talking about something I am interested in and that is gonna be my 2022 daily essential items. Now, I know, I know what you're thinking, Chris, there's a lot of these videos out there. Why should I pay attention to your items? And that's because I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I'm not a full-time tech guy. I work a nine to five job just like you, most likely. So these are things that I use every single day, whether if I'm going to be in the office at my job, whether it's me going to a coffee shop, whether if it's me sitting at my desk, these are things that I use constantly and maybe there's something here that you guys like and you guys wanna to add to your essentials for 2022. So without further ado, let's get right into the first item. The first item is gonna be the iPhone 12, not the iPhone 13. I didn't really feel the need to upgrade. Kind of wanted to wait uh, to see what this year's new phone is gonna hold, 2022's version of the iPhone. But yeah, it, this, this phone is great. It has enough storage for me. I think I have like the 512. So I do a lot on my phone, whether it's sending texts, whether it's me scrolling through TikToks. The main thing that I like to use it throughout the day is, is listening to music, listening to podcasts, uh, catching up on the weather, the, the news. This is something that I'm constantly looking at. To be honest, I'm probably a little addicted to it. Not gonna lie, but uh, this is something that goes with me everywhere that I go, whether it's the gym, the office, coffee shop, grocery store, to the bar, the club. This thing is constantly in my pocket and it's probably constantly in your pocket as well. Let me know what phone you guys are rocking because I feel like most people are rocking iPhones, but you never know. There's, there's always the person out there that's like iPhone or that's like Android for life, you know? The next item on the list is the Fidelo Hybrid wallet i made a whole video about this wallet so if you guys want to see that that'll be linked down below and it's probably up on the screen now too but this wallet is crazy cool and there's a lot of stuff you can do with it a little brief rundown it's a card holder wallet with a twist you can uh has this little like lever thing that you switch on here and it pops up all your cards it's super cool it makes checking out super easy because you just flip this you choose which card you want slide it back down and you're good to go there's also a couple pockets here for uh holding your id and insurance card that's what i use mine for so that's always nice and yeah this wall is just super nice it's it's uh it's durable and i know that this is probably not going to last me all 2022 if i'm completely honest i am obsessed with wallets I'm already looking at new ones to buy right now, but uh, this is a dope wallet. I think it was only like 30 bucks and for what you get, uh, it's pretty cool. They also have a lifetime warranty. So this is a great wallet and I highly suggest it if you guys are looking for a new one. Now let's talk about headphones. I feel like if you're not carrying a pair of headphones with you, first of all, what are you doing? Second of all, you might be crazy, but headphones are a daily essential for me. I'm constantly listening to music at the office. I'm constantly listening to podcasts. Um, when I get home from work, I'm going right to the gym. I want really good sounding quality headphones, sounding quality, really good quality sounding headphones. So for me, those headphones are the nothing ear ones. I know what you guys are thinking. You're probably like, ooh, Chris, I bet you were gonna say Apple headphones, but no, I recently got these nothing ear ones. They look super cool and they sound great. They also have noise cancellation, which is super cool. That's something that my um, Apple headphones number two, the AirPods number two, I don't know why I made that longer than what it should be, but those do not have that. So these are super nice because I didn't want to spend 200 bucks on the newest uh, Apple headphones. So I just decided to get these, kind of switch out the Apple ecosystem. So I got these instead. Now, I am huge into watches. I am constantly wearing a watch. So for me, a watch is a part of my essentials. If I leave the house without a watch, I feel weird. I feel like I'm screwed up. I feel like I can't go about my day. I literally left for world work, forgot that I had a watch. I was almost halfway there and turned around and went and grabbed it. That's how serious I am about wearing a watch. The watch of choice for 2022 is the Apple Series 4. 
watch. Uh, this was my mom's old watch and she got the new one. So she was like, do you want this? And I was like, sure. And I was against it. But now that I wear it, I literally don't want to use any other watch. And it makes me upset because I really enjoy a traditional watch. But the features that this thing has is great. The fact that I can change songs right on my wrist, the fact that I get notifications and I'm not constantly looking at my phone, I can just see the notification and then I can just swipe it away or I can reply right on my watch just allows me to be a little bit more free. It allows me to not be constantly looking at my phone. It just allows me to be like, oh, that's cool. And then go on with my day. To continue on with the tech, most people are carrying laptops with them everywhere they go. If they're going to the office, they have a laptop or they have a computer at their desk. But for me, I, uh, I have a 15 inch MacBook Pro that I enjoy and I love. But here's the thing, it's a 2017 one, which is really not even that old, but as far as technology has come, I really can't do a lot on there. I can respond to emails, I can do a couple of other small things, but pretty much any crazy task I'm doing on my gaming computer at home. But I wanted to have something a little bit more versatile, and that is where the iPad Pro comes in. And the reason why I like this so much is it makes doing daily tasks fun, whether if I'm taking notes with the Apple Pencil, or just on here with the keyboard, or if I'm uh, responding to an email, editing some photos, just using this thing is really great. The screen is crazy nice. And I enjoy this a little bit more than working on a laptop to do all the laptop things. I can do pretty much everything that I want on here. Every single photo that I use or that I use for clients or if I use for myself is edited through my iPad and it's just really nice. I didn't think I was gonna like it so much. Now, no EDC Daily Essential video is complete without a knife or some sort of multi-tool. This is a Swiss Army multi-tool. To be honest, I just found this laying around my house and now it is something I bring with me every single day. This thing is so small so small that I just throw it in my pocket and I forget I have it. But when I do need it, it's super nice. It has a screwdriver, it has a little knife, it has some scissors on it, and it's just super convenient because it's not huge. And I think these things are like pretty cheap, like $15 cheap. So if this is something that you want, um, I highly suggest it, I'll link it down below. Now I have a couple last little things that I bring with me that I'm just gonna kind of fire through. The first little thing is blue light glasses. I have a pair of these at home and I have a pair of these at my job and I look at a computer screen constantly. So wearing these things are very convenient. You probably see me wearing these in a couple of videos and I thought these things were a scam, but they really work. Especially if you know that you're gonna be sitting at a computer for a very long time. Wearing these just allows you to leave that space feeling like not complete crap, like you don't have a crazy headache. So these are super nice and I highly suggest these. Another thing that I carry that's super small is a little notebook. I've been trying to do more. I've been trying to not, uh, I, I'm, I'm the type of person that when it comes home from work, I just wanna just watch YouTube videos all day. So with this, I'm trying to not do that. I'm trying to stay more productive. So I kind of just use this to write down the things that I want to accomplish for that day. And uh, this is just super nice and convenient. And I'm obsessed with notebooks. I actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine notebooks just laying around. I love notebooks um, and these are super nice and it helps me stay productive. The last two things I like to carry is a iPhone charger, uh, just because my phone's always dying. Pretty much you can plug this into a computer, you can plug this into a brick, and you can charge your phone at any point and at any time. Now the last thing, this is a little tip if you work on a PC. This is a USB thumb drive and it also has a lightning connector for your phone. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to put files on here from your computer and transfer them to your phone very quickly. If you don't have a Mac and you don't have the accessibility to 
airdrop this is super convenient and i highly suggest that. i've had this thing for probably six years and this thing is probably something that i use every single day and it's super convenient so that is my 2022 daily essentials and i know what you're thinking chris that it's not anything crazy why'd you make this video i think i incorporate everything that a normal person would use you know when you see these oh my essentials for photography my essentials for you youtube not everyone is a youtuber not everyone's a photographer not everyone's a gamer this is for people that want to kind of be in that space have something that they know that they can carry all the time and why it's useful everything that i will list it off i use every single day for my job for my hobbies, uh, pretty much I just I just use it every single day. So I really hope you guys liked it. Let me know if you guys picked up anything. The links down below are not affiliate links. Uh, they're just the, the, the normal links. So I don't really get anything from it, but I'm happy for you to use them. So yeah, that is the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you like videos like this, let me know, I'll create a lot more of them but i've been chris you've been beautiful i'll see you guys when i see you guys peace